Tonight on CBS 1910 at 10, a laid-back boy in foster care needs a forever family. We will share the story of 10-year-old Casey and our Children Are a Gift report tonight on 10 at 10. And now on to this morning's top stories. Hey, good morning, and thanks for joining us for the CBS 19 This Morning Update. I'm Melissa Daigle. And I'm Clint Yates. We are hoping to learn more today about an officer-involved shooting in East Texas. This happened around 7 Monday night. DPS says a suspect was shot following a high-speed chase that began in Wood County and ended in Hopkins County near Como. The suspect was reportedly flown to a local hospital. No word on the suspect's condition this morning, but we do know no officers were hurt. Texas Rangers are now involved in the investigation. A man is in the Wood County Jail after a shooting Sunday night left one Mineola High School graduate dead. 19-year-old Christopher Griffin was shot in the neck, allegedly by 41-year-old Jason Walters. The two men began arguing inside the Easy Mart on North Pacific Street in Mineola. The men agreed to meet behind the store to continue the discussion. When police arrived, they found Griffin lying in the alley and Walters nearby holding a handgun. Walters was arrested at the scene and charged with murder. And that's just scary to think about that anything could happen. Like, I don't feel safe, really. Griffin was to be transported by helicopter to ETMC, but died before the helicopter got there. Walters' bond is set at $100,000. Thursday marks the 151st anniversary of the Emancipation Proclamation and the Texas holiday of Juneteenth when the news finally reached the state. To mark the occasion, the Celebrating Freedom Rally has been scheduled to be held at 7 o'clock at the historic Roseland Plantation on Texas Highway 64. Organizers say the event is anticipated to be a celebration of all Americans of all colors and how far we have come together through the Revolutionary War and the Civil War all the way through today. More on the events in this morning's Tyler Morning Telegraph. Yeah, it's been a hot one out there. I feel like summer is yeah. right around the corner. Yeah, the humidity <laughs> is up too. It's an ugly combination for yeah, sure. Let's get not over comfortable. To, let's get over to Albert Bruni. He's got more on our weather. Albert. Clinton, Melissa, here is your Tuesday forecast, and we're going to do it by hour by hour. And as uh, we begin this process, notice lots of moisture coming off the Gulf of Mexico. Now, the forecast model's overdoing it a little bit, although in southeast Texas and deep east Texas, expect some more showers, as you saw yesterday afternoon. And a couple of those could creep into the east Texas and northeast Texas, perhaps later this afternoon, but more likely tomorrow as we see an influx of moisture over the next 24 hours. But all in all, we're going to be looking at partly cloudy skies. Notice um, as we work our way towards the uh, evening hours, things begin to kind of calm down across the area. Day planner forecast starting off in the mid uh, 70s by noon around the mid 80s. And then as we work our way towards the late afternoon, about 91 degrees. And then your three day planner going on into your seven day planner. Notice it'll be a chance of showers for your Wednesday, but warm throughout the forecast period. Better chance of rain next Monday. Great. Thanks, Albert. For the very latest all day long, go to CBS19.tv or TylerPaper.com. And be sure to join us later today for CBS19 News at 5, 6, and 10 at 10. We do hope you have a great day.